before we get into the topic before we get into the topic let me give generalized idea about what is this editions and how they are used let me make a general discussion to get the concept right suppose suppose i have a airtel i went to airtel store i told let me know what are the packages available for taking a sim card the first thing that he asked me is first thing that he asked me is is it a postpaid or a prepaid the first thing that he asked me is whether it is a postpaid or a prepaid the first thing that he asked me is whether it is a postpaid or a prepaid if i say prepaid he gives me a different set of packages if i say postpaid it will give me a different set of plans so my plans it depends upon the connection i have looking for is it a postpaid or a prepaid or a data connection if i say i am looking for a data services then the probably the package will be different so it depends upon what type of service i am looking package will be specified similarly in the sales force also depends upon the cloud what you are preferring in the sales force also depends upon the cloud what you are preferring your editions will be there so editions are classified based on type of cloud you are choosing so if it is a sales cloud we have a different set of edition service cloud we have a different set of edition marketing cloud e-commerce cloud what type of cloud are you looking for depends upon the cloud what you are looking for editions will be choose right now basically what this plan will specify airtel company airtel company is offering all these services now airtel is offering all these services let me take this the company is giving the following list of services let us assume it is giving local calls repeating this all the services are given now when i give this so airtel is offering these services actually i told i am looking for a prepaid i told i was looking for a prepaid now it asks me what type of package airtel is offering all these services but based on your requirement you will decide what type of package you require airtel is offering all these services but it's you as per your as per your personal requirement which one is applicable to you that you are preferring let us say they told 99 rupees package mudula meet your mic all of you please meet your mics now you are going with a 99 rupees package 299 package and we have 599 package they told boss if you prefer this 99 rupees package this is what we are giving they told if it is 99 no data fees if you go with 299 they told 1 gb service they told it's 30 minutes 30 minutes free now if you choose this they told 150 minutes free now look at this now what was that now it is not the airtel who is not providing the service it told i am capable of providing all these services now you decide now you decide according to your organization 
according to your business what you need now i want to use this score for my front desk for attending the calls or making a calls to students i don't need internet service for this now if i have local service it is more than enough now i will prefer to go with 99 now it doesn't mean that airtel is not providing data service now airtel is capable of providing all these services out of these services whatever the services you need okay as per that you are choosing the package what you need similarly when i say addition sales force will say i am capable of providing all these services based on your business requirement whichever the functionalities you need as per that you choose the addition what you want so what addition will tell you look at the point in 99 299 599 we are getting hd services but limits are different if you take 99 30 minutes free 299 150 minutes free 599 unlimited now similarly depends upon the addition you will get the services even though you are getting the services but the limits are going to be different now how many tables you can create i told you can create a table in all the editions you can create a table how many tables you can create is it a 5 or 10 or 100 or 200 or unlimited depends upon edition what you choose are you getting my point so what is this edition first the edition will be decided based on the cloud what you prefer before i gave this package as i told what are you looking for are you looking for a prepaid or a postpaid you told you are looking for a postpaid that is the reason i gave this if you told it is a prepaid my plans are different so first you are supposed to identify whether which type of cloud you are preferring to take depends upon the type of the cloud depends upon the type of the cloud we prefer to go for editions we prefer to go for editions i hope you are good with this so what is a edition edition will specify list of services that are offered by salesforce on your force.com what set of features are available on your force.com force.com is your environment on the top of your environment what are the list of services that are offered by the salesforce that is given by the edition so let me put them editions this will specify list of services that are offered by salesforce on your environment editions this will specify list of services that are offered by the salesforce on your environment editions will be classified based on the cloud what we have chosen first i'll go with generalized common editions what are they in all the clouds in all the clouds there will be common editions so let us go to the first one let's go to the first one sales cloud in this okay i'm just giving in general in general what are the common editions look at this we have first one sales force essential lightning professional lightning enterprise lightning unlimited if you go to 
sales and service if you are taking a combination of sales cloud and service cloud so we have lighting professional lighting enterprise lighting and limited service cloud sales force essential lighting professional lighting enterprise lighting and limited right now this is a primary point so what was the first thing that we are going with sales force essential this is a common addition in the sales and service now what was this addition any organization who need who need basic sales cloud or a service cloud crm application any organization who need basic sales cloud application or a service cloud application with maximum for five members for a maximum for maximum for five members now any organization who is looking for a basic sales crm or a service crm application for a maximum of five users these people cannot build a new functionalities these people cannot write a program you want only basic crm and you want to use maximum number of maximum number of employees who can log in is only five if your application need only five users then i will go for this when i say user it's an employee not the data or customer okay right. maximum for five users let me give you this edition design for those organizations who need access to basic sales crm or service crm application this on this edition only five users can access only five users can access very basic right next one lightning professional what is this lightning professional this edition is designed for those organizations who need access to complete crm application this edition is designed for those organizations who need complete access to crm application for any number of users they need a complete crm application for any number of users they will go for lightning professional but the drawback of this edition is on this edition you cannot build apex programming on this edition no apex programming is supported then you cannot build custom logics as per your requirement now you have a limitation you can customize it but not with programming if you don't allow me to write a program i have a limitation on my customizations so this edition is suitable to all the organizations who need complete crm application for any number of users and who need access to declarative development without apex programming i hope you are good with this let us see this edition is designed for those organizations who need access to complete crm for 
any number of uses. On this edition, we cannot build Apex program. On this edition, we cannot build Apex coding. Next. Everybody is good with that? Okay. Probably till next class will be making it right. Then on I'll be giving a access on my account. You can copy the notes from my account. Okay. Next. Next one we have Lighting Enterprise. We have next edition Lighting Enterprise. This is very, very, very commonly used in the industry. Now, Lighting Salesforce Essential Lighting professional generally we don't use in the industry. These are very small scale companies who want to self maintain the application on the cloud. They will do that. But generally, what we are going to work in the companies is going to be enterprise edition or unlimited edition. Generally, your professional or essential will not be used in the enterprise. Okay, your MNCs will be using enterprise or unlimited. Those two professional and essential basically used for small scale companies who want to run their CRM on the, on the cloud. Very basic level companies will go with that. But generally, any reasonable average MNC will go with Lightning Enterprise or Lightning Unlimited. Now in the Capital Info solution, we are using Unlimited. Now we are using Unlimited. Previously it was a Enterprise. Recently we got upgraded to this. Now depends upon the size of your data depends upon the scope of the application we will decide but general practice is enterprise and unlimited okay now what was this enterprise this is a design for those organizations who need complete crm application who need complete crm application for any number of users with 100 percent customization using apex and declarative on the enterprise edition, you will be able to write a program. So, any organization who want to write a program and customize their application, they need minimum enterprise. If you want to write a code and customize your application, then you need minimum enterprise. So, if you want to write a program, minimum enterprise. Right. So, this edition. This edition is designed for those organizations who need, who need access to application for any number of users. This is the minimum edition. We have to purchase to write the text. This is most popular edition. This is the most popular edition used in the industry. Right among. Okay. Let us go to next one. Lightning Unlimited. Lightning Unlimited. Lightning Unlimited. 
so this is the high end this is the high end edition so this is also same as your enterprise but here we get edition limits here we are going to get edition limits we can write this will have what will be options then 24 by 7 support they also provide some online training videos right amount so here the point what you need to understand is if you purchase sales cloud basics of service cloud also will come if you purchase the service cloud basics of sales cloud also will come so when you purchase a sales cloud doesn't mean only pure sales cloud will come sales cloud plus core concepts of service cloud will come when you choose a service cloud service cloud plus core concepts of sales cloud will come if you want to go with enhanced format of sales cloud then you have to choose sales cloud if you want a complete service cloud you have to choose a service cloud you take any one of the edition any one of the cloud both will come but only the primary concepts will be coming if you want to take complete set then you have to prefer either a sales cloud or a service cloud no i want both the things then we can take a combination of sales cloud plus service cloud Are you getting my point? If you take a sales cloud, also you get the features of service cloud. Service cloud also features of sales cloud. Not all basic features, right, Amma? Okay. Now this is the edition. Let us have a quick comparison chart for your understanding. Let us have a quick comparison chart. so if you look at this now the same feature is available the feature may be the same but limits are going to be different okay if you look at this generally industry standard is enterprise and unlimited amount if you look at this almost all the services are you are finding almost all the services are same but if you go to this If you go to this enterprise and unlimited. This is the main part of it. So, Tara, Tara, what is it? Please meet your mics. Can you please start it now? Meet your mics where you attend the class. Meet your mics, Neha. Now. If you look at this, what is the difference you are finding here? All in case submission and twenty-four by seven toll-free support. Okay. Now what was this? If you look at this, these are coming as a unlimited online training. These are the three additional features. Other than this, if you look at this, everything is same. Now what is the difference between these two edition? Limits are going to be different. Let us say enterprise you are taking. We can only build. 200 tables unlimited i can build unlimited number of tables no, sorry 2000 tables i can build enterprise you can build only 10 application unlimited we can build unlimited number of application 
So concepts and features are same, but limits are going to be different. How many you can create that limits are going to be different. Now sales cloud deals with the sales process. Service cloud deals with the service operation, maybe a call center mode of operations. Sales operation, sales cloud, support operation, service cloud. After sales, whatever you carry out is a support. If you want to maintain that support application, then we go for service cloud. I hope you are good. I hope you are good. Right. Now, now we have chosen edition. If you remember yesterday, we have discussed about sandbox and production. Now the point is, how many sandboxes you are going to get? Number of sandboxes that are given by the sales force. Now, addition will decide how many sandboxes you are going to get free of cost. When you purchase a production, how many sandboxes you are going to get? That is decided by your addition. Based on the addition, they give the number of sandboxes. So let me give you. Based on the edition you have purchased, we get number of sandboxes. We get the sandboxes. Now, let me give you edition. Developer so it depends upon the edition what you purchase, we get the depends upon the edition what you purchase, we get the number of sandbox. Let me show you quickly. Look at the diagrammatical representation. Depends upon the depends upon the edition what you purchase. We are going to get a number of sandboxes. Okay. So number of sandboxes what we are going to get it will be depends upon edition what we got so essential professional enterprise unlimited based on that how many sandboxes you are getting partial sandbox full sandbox partial sandbox full sandbox developer sandbox okay developer pro sandbox now what we have professional enterprise and unlimited professional enterprise and unlimited depends upon the edition what you purchased number of sandboxes will be coming depends upon the depends upon the edition what you purchased we are going to get the number of number of sandboxes let me give you if i'm going with production We take enterprise. Depends upon the edition, number of sandboxes we put. If you want extra storage for the sandbox, and every sandbox, yesterday I told you a size. Size of the sandbox is fixed. 
if you want extra data storage we can pay extra money and get it now what are the sizes i gave yesterday 200 mb 1 gb 5 gb unlimited they are fixed size in case if we need extra data storage we can pay extra and get it these sandboxes we are going to get as free along with the addition if you want more sandboxes we can purchase we can purchase additional sandboxes based on required developer sandbox cannot be purchased they will come as add on with other sandbox now developer sandboxes cannot be purchased they will come as add on with other sandboxes developer sandboxes cannot be purchased they will come as add on with other sandboxes they will come as add on with other sandboxes if you want to you can purchase any other sandbox other than developer what was this if you purchase a developer pro If you purchase a developer pro, you get five developer sandbox as add-on free. One developer pro will give you one developer pro will give you five developer sandboxes as a free. If you purchase one partial copy, they give you ten developer sandboxes. So you cannot purchase developer sandbox right away. If you purchase other sandboxes, along with those sandboxes, they are going to give you this developer sandboxes as a add-on, as a free, along with other sandboxes. All right, boss. Okay. Now look at the next concept. look at this diagram everyone i hope i am done with this people are good with the concept okay. now is there any user limit uh, uh, there's a license there's a difference to again okay now now let me give you. when i go to salesforce they'll ask me which cloud are you looking for do you require a crm for a sales operation or a service operation or a combination of both i told i am looking for a I told I was looking for a sales cloud. When they told you are looking for a sales cloud, right? They ask, what is the scope of your application? How many? How many? What is the scope of your application? We require 24 by 7 support. Now, how many tables you want to create? How many objects you want to create? Then, based on the size and scope of your application, they will suggest the addition. Now, I told I need a sales cloud. Then I told boss. I may go up with the building 10 to 20 application, then they told better you go with enterprise edition. Now, cloud on the top of the cloud, I told edition. Now, when I specify cloud and edition, then they give me force.com in environment. Based on the cloud and enterprise, they have given me force.com in environment. This is what they have given me. On the force.com, what we have? In infrastructure now this is what they have given me
So they give me infrastructure, OS, whatever the software required, tools. Now, I told, I require, I am looking for a sales cloud with enterprise edition. On the top of it, on the top of it, they give me this. Now on the force.com, which application is running? Sales cloud application is running with the enterprise edition. On my environment, on my environment, I have a force.com. On the environment, I have a sales cloud application with the enterprise application. I had a sales force application with the enterprise of enterprise edition. So whatever the features are there in enterprise edition, they'll be available on my force.com. Force.com developer environment will be same. Okay, in the sales cloud, which options I have to give you? In the sales cloud application, which options I have to give you? Which features I have to give you? That is decided by your mission. Now, I am paying, I am not paying any money for any one of this. I am not paying any money for edition or your platform. I am going to pay the money for license. I am going to pay the money for licensing. Let me give you quickly one more quick story. Now into for everybody they give whoever want to take you want to take a sales cloud or a service cloud or okay marketing cloud or anything the background is what background is force dot or your lightning platform today salesforce instead of calling a force.com it is calling lightning platform okay now the backend story is same for everybody now you take enterprise edition or unlimited edition or anything Sales cloud or service cloud or marketing cloud or okay, e-commerce, your story is same here. The backend story is the same. What is the backend story? Your infrastructure. <coughs> this is the same for everyone. This is the platform. So let the Salesforce call say force.com or lighting platform its choice if you're going with the lightning lighting platform okay now this is common now i ask you, on the top of it which crm applications you want you want the sales cloud you want the service cloud on the top of your force.com which crm application you are looking at i told i was looking for a combination of sales cloud and service cloud so they gave me on the force.com Sales Cloud application and Service Cloud. In the Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, lot of options are there. Lot of features are there. Which features you want? Then I told, I am looking for Enterprise Edition or Unlimited Edition. Sales Cloud and Service Cloud with Enterprise Edition. Right? Okay. This is your production environment. Now the Salesforce has provided a force.com platform with sales cloud and service cloud application with enterprise edition. Whatever the options are available in the enterprise option, whatever the options are available in the enterprise edition, those options are given to you on your environment. Now suppose if I take a professional edition, I will not get FX programming. Because I took enterprise, I can write a program, I can go with the declarative and I can go with the functionality. Right amount? Okay. Now, once you are done with this, because you told you are taking enterprise, they told you can build 25 developer sandboxes, one partial, one partial sandbox you can build. Okay, very good. Now the question is, who is going to work on this? This is the application I am looking for. Now how many people are going to work on this? The rest question that Salesforce is asking is, you decided which environment you need. You decide which application you want, which edition you want. So I have made this structure. How many of the employees are going to work on this? How many people, how many employees of your company are going to log in and work? Then I told, I maybe 30 employees. Now, for every employee, you have to purchase a license. For every employee, you have to purchase a license. If 30 people are logging into this application working, you have to purchase 30 licenses. 
So Salesforce will charge the money for license. Salesforce will charge the money for license, not for this. It is not charging the money for this. It is charging the money for license. Now, boss, if it is a sales cloud with enterprise edition, one sales for okay, one license, I'll charge you $150. Like that, for license, they are charging the amount. Now, if you want 30 employees to log in and work, 30 licenses you have to purchase. Now, the question is, will every employee is going to work on everything? Will every employee write a program? Will every employee require a CRM? <coughs> now, uh, Satish, I, sorry to disturb you. Can I have a quick one quick question, please? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, in the Lightning Enterprise, uh, you told the design for those organizations who need access to complete up. Right. It's really true. Then, this is part here now. Ask me at the end of the uh, right. Now, let me give. Now, look at the format. So here, how many we require? 30 licenses. It is a 30 licenses. Now, 30 license means I'm going to charge the money for every license. Okay. Now, look at the point. Every user is not going to work on everything. Every user is not going to work on everything. Now, my company, apart from the Salesforce application, I also designed some HRM application. Internally, I created this HRM. Who created this HRM? My company created. Right? Now, some of the employees are going to work only on HRM. Some of the employees are going to work on only CRM. Now you decide every employee will not be working on every application. So that is the reason there are different type of licenses we have. There are different type of licenses. Now what are they? If I say Salesforce license. If I say Salesforce license. If I give Salesforce license to a user, he can access CRM plus. Let me give it. Now I have, this is my organization. In the organization I have CRM, force.com, Apex, CRM application, what are they? Sales cloud, service cloud, other things. Force.com, you might have built your own applications. Developed by you which are not given by Salesforce, what your company has developed. Now we have Apex programming. We already say charter. Right. Now, let us say this guy has purchased this guy, let us say Sham. For this Sham, I give Salesforce license. I give a Salesforce license. If I give a Salesforce license to this guy, he can access CRM application. He can work with the CRM application. He can work with your own force.com application. He can work with Apex. He can work with the charter. So if I purchase Salesforce license, he has an access to CRM application plus force.com platform. Everything on the CRM and force.com, you can access and work with them. Now, for this guy, I purchased Salesforce. If I purchase a Salesforce platform, you can only work with force.com, Apex, he will not be able to access a CRM application. Now, I don't want this guy to work on CRM. I want this guy to work on application what I built. Then I'll go for Salesforce platform. He will not be able to access any one of the CRM applications developed by the Salesforce. Now, obviously, prices will change. Right. Now, I want this guy. I'll make a small option. I want this guy to work on only, he's a customer to me. I want the customer to 
log in and make a request or see the status of the order she placed or he is a partner to me now i gave franchise now he is one of the dealer who is selling my products i want the dealer to log in place an order or track the okay orders what he placed and up upload all the details about the sales what he is making now he is not my employee he is my partner i want him to log in and submit the data every time so what is this i will give community license if i give community license only he can access communities now this guy is a support agent i want him to be online when you open a website you get a chart right when you open a website you get a chart online support i want this guy to provide those online chart now i don't want this guy to access anything i want him to access only chart so what is that depends upon your requirement you will decide what license you need you want the guy to work on crm and force.com sales force license administrator every administrator require access to crm and force.com if you want to make anybody as an administrator it is a mandatory that he should have sales force license now if i want anybody to access only force.com then sales force platform only communities then i'll go for community license only charter i'll go with a charter license so what is this license license will tell what are the baseline of features sales force is allowing for this user license is going to tell what are the baseline of features sales force is allowing for this particular user everybody should have one license based on the license only sales force will decide what features i should allow you to work are you clear on this are you clear on this so what was the point here license this will specify baseline of features that are offered by the sales force on the environment based on features that are offered by the sales force to the user on the environment sales force license it is designed for those users who need access to complete it is designed for those users who need access to complete crm applications and force.com in ground now the point is if you are working on a classic previously the sales force used to call force.com platform now for new customers sales force is not giving classic all the new customer who are purchasing a sales force they have only like it for old customers for old customers they are giving what classic they are giving now they told you upgrade to lighting you upgrade to lighting for new customers they are promoting only lighting there's a reason they are calling this lighting platform now when you take a lighting platform classic can also be built on the lighting platform classic applications can also be built at the end of the game it is their terminology but on the sales force on the sales force classic and lighting application can be built right now previously the platform is force.com when they started updating a lighting when they started promoting a lighting they told lighting platform they removed their what called force.com and they are giving lighting because for all the new customers they are promoting only lighting for all the new customers they are promoting lighting that's the reason they started indicating lighting platform i hope you are good so now this terminology has nothing to do with the architecture what i explained don't get yourself into trouble now basically sales force initially we used to call it as force.com what is the started lighting once they started promoting the lighting they renamed it as what lighting platform 
lighting platform right so for all the new customers they are giving only lighting platform lighting platform. does it mean that can't you write visual force program obviously i can write it does it mean that you cannot write a you cannot write fx program we can write it right getting my point is only jumble of words is a voting game right it is basically force.com in which lighting is not there previously when they call platform it's only force.com when they introduce lighting also now they are renaming it as what lighting platform in the lighting platform whatever you have in the force.com will be there plus lighting application right amma right okay i'll give okay now it means what platform it means what only platform where you can build lighting as well as classic as simple as that users with this license cannot access crm application these are our major licenses boss those users who need access to comedy platform this design for customers every user every user need one license every user need one license every user need one license to log into salesforce right ma now let us come back to the structure again now i told i require 30 like 30 employees i have then sales force you told now this 30 employees who are going to work on crm who are going to work on force.com you decide and tell me how many license you require now i told i require 30 salesforce license okay then while you are purchasing it will ask you who is your primary administrator at the time of purchasing this say purchasing salesforce will ask who is your primary admin then i told satish now salesforce will out of these 30 licenses what you purchased they will assign one license to satish 
you purchase 30 licenses out of this 30 one license will be given to satish and they are going to create satish as a admin and they'll give username password now the satish will log into the production salesforce when they give it is on the cloud now when you are creating how many license you require 30 okay who is your primary administrator satish so create satish as one user out of 30 licenses what you purchase one will be given to satish and they will create him as a administrator they give username password so now the satish will log in he will manage the remaining part of the application maybe creating a other users or other things now what satish has created now whatever the applications are there in the salesforce i want to customize it then what i will do administrator will create sandboxes what is the sandbox right now whatever you have now administrator felt he requires some changes to be made on this application then Administrator felt it requires some changes on the application. Now he created some sandboxes. Now he approached IBM boss. These are my sandboxes. Make use of these sandboxes and make a customization. These sandboxes are given to IBM. Now the employees of IBM will log in, make the necessary development, and deploy to production. Now who is creating the sandbox? IBM. What we are purchasing from Salesforce? Production we are purchasing, okay, we are purchasing license. When you purchase a licenses, they create a production and the production they will create an administrator and give you. When you purchase a license, they will create a production and they will create an administrator and give you this. Now, administrator will create sandboxes from production and give to the developing organization. They make a necessary changes and submit it. Now, price of the license is what? Boss, I require a sales cloud with enterprise edition one salesforce license complete together is a price no separate price for license separate price for cloud separate price for edition all together salesforce license on sales cloud enterprise edition 150 dollars salesforce license on unlimited edition for sales cloud okay 300 dollars say okay salesforce license on service cloud with enterprise edition 175 dollars so the price is for what License on this edition, license on this cloud for this edition. All together it is. So at the end of the game, what Salesforce will create and give? One production they are going to create and they are going to create one administrator for you and give. Now the administrator will create the sandboxes, give to the corresponding. Now where are the developers and work, testers are working? Now developers, they will work on the sandboxes. Where the staff of my company are going to work? Now let us say this is ICIC. Now the staff of this ICIC bank are working on this production. Now the developers who are working from IBM to support this ICIC working on sandbox. The developers and testers who are working from IBM to support this ICIC bank, they are working on sandbox. The staff of this ICIC bank, maybe a manager or a clerk or a okay, HR, they are going to work on production. Now, if the HR want to log in, she need one license. If clerk want to log in, they require one license. Now, every employee of ICICI bank who want to log in and work, they require a license. Now, developers and testers who are working on a sandbox, they don't need any licenses. We are not taking the license for developers and testers. We are taking the license for users who are going to work on production. If anybody want to log into the production work, they require license. On sandboxes, no licenses are required. So we are going to work on sandboxes. Administrator is working on production because he has to create a new employees. He has to manage all the things. He'll be working on production. I hope you got a clarity. Right? We'll dig into this in better way tomorrow. But basic structure is clear. Now what we discussed, editions, licenses, environments. We'll see the flow of this, in the complete flow of this in the tomorrow session. In detail explanation I'll give you. Now I hope you're good with this. What is the environment? What is the edition? What is the license? What actually the Salesforce is going to provide, how we are going to create that I'll discuss tomorrow. Right. 
the where the employees will log in, how the sandboxes are there, the flow I'll discuss tomorrow. The basic what we discussed is environment, edition, environment, cloud, edition, license. Technically, these are the terms. I hope you are good. That's all from my end. Now, uh, will you discuss?